Hello everybody and welcome to yet more Perpetual Testing! For today's chamber we are going to be having a go at Shades of Pink and this was made and recommended ages ago by Evil Lol. so a big thank you to Evil Lol for this one. And as we make our way into the pink chamber, I promise that I will try and do my best to avoid the low-hanging obvious jokes, but uh, let's be completely honest, if it wasn't for lowbrow innuendo, this channel would have died off years ago, so um... Yeah, that's quite sad when you think about it. So you get what you get, I'm afraid, and I apologise in advance. Right, in the pink chamber, we have you. You are new and therefore exciting. What do you do? You don't acknowledge my weight. You are not interactable, but you appear to be connected to a blue repulsion gel delivery tube. And behind me, I can hear a gel delivering the sparkling fresh Aperture branded water. So we've got bounce and we've got wash. Uh, we've got a fizzler here across what looks like a little pink pit. Too easy. Got a fizzler there across the little pink pit. Uh, our exit appears to be all the way up at the back there, already wide open, inviting and waiting for us to enter. And I promise that will probably not be the last one of those. Uh, right. There's also you, sticking out very prominently at the top of the pink. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, uh, right. Try and keep it highbrow. Children watch these videos children with irresponsible parents and that's not my problem. Uh, right, so what are we actually doing then? Clearly, we want to traverse the little pink pit across that way and see what's going on there, where there appears to be another strange panel on the floor, but this time it's brown. So what do you actually do? You're not interactable. You do have that directly above you, and the only thing I can do from here... There's no panels down in there... There might be actually... Okay, there's some there. Alright, so there's panels there for getting back out the pit with that, which we're not going to make the blatant joke about again. Uh, drop back down to here. But the only thing we can do here, then, is get the little button wet. Oh, these are too easy. Okay, let's get the little button wet. Uh, let's do you and you. Does that mean... Yeah, okay. That's new. You. You sense water, so you're like a water-sensing panel. Uh, that's going to be an absolute bitch to make a thumbnail icon for, but uh, that's a problem for future Nerima. Right now, I'm just going to try not to snigger at the fact that we're getting the little button wet. It's too easy! Don't make chambers with titles that make for such easy innuendo. I, I get stuck at the start. Behave now. Okay, right. Um, well, that turns that on. Uh, that gives us the blue gel, so when that splashes, we get a blob of blue gel. But apparently only one blob of blue gel? I'm assuming you're a fan, alright? You're not a continuous blob? Oh, you are a continuous... Okay, you accept gels as well. Okay, so we can have the blue gel activate itself by dropping onto there. Uh, which would suggest that we're going to traverse the little pink pit with a blob of blue gel on the floor, right? That's just going to keep going? Okay, so that's self-propelling blue gel activation. Uh, that means we could get across here if we time this right. If we put the orange after a splash down here, we should get a blob into here. That's probably what we can leap to bounce to get up to there then. Can I get up that way as well? No, but we can just go through here uh, into a place that I wasn't thinking about, but might be able to make that. Can we bounce past that? Okay, we can get past there. Let's control here to stop that. Is that enough to get us any further into the room? It is. Cool. Right. That bounces us past this fizzler where we have you. And I recognize you immediately. You're a Minecraft pressure plate. Which means uh, that texture is probably also a Minecraft pressure plate. But the, like, metal ones, I'm guessing that's metal, appear to work with water. Whereas you're basically just a regular button in Minecraft form, okay? Uh, you turn off the big fizzler there. Angled panel above us. Large height-based obstacle impeding us from getting any further towards the exit, and something else will also do the fizzler up the top there by the looks of it. That's the this or this one, right? Whatever's up there will also do that. Uh, there's a panel here, and there's more chamber up there. Okay, apparently there's a faith plate in here up there as well at some point. So how do we get up there then? Um, that's glass, right? So we can't just portal there. Interestingly though, you are mesh but you don't have anything behind you I can get a portal on? Not from anywhere down here, no. So something up there probably needs this for some reason. I don't think we're anywhere near that though yet. Uh, what can we actually do here then? 
What I'm thinking is we need bounce, right? This is a bounce-related chamber, so blob a blue gel out of there, splat, and then us bedoying up in that direction, probably with us coming through there as well for momentum-based bouncing purposes. Yeah, okay, so how would we get a blob of blue gel there? And thinking about it now, that's going to be awkward, right? Because we can only, like, activate the blobs once, sort of. We'd have to activate it with the water again. Um, we can get back, though, right? Because we can use you and use the low-hanging joke up there. Then we could probably use you to go back fairly easy, which does let us bounce here. Does that get us anywhere near? No, that's nowhere near enough to get anywhere height-wise there. Does let us get back there, though. So I'm thinking we cover you with the blue gel. Uh, to cover you with the blue gel, we have to do all of that, like, setup again, right? But then moving the portal to make you go splat here. Uh, let's control... No, no, no. Let's control here. Leave the orange there. I don't want to wash anything away. But we're going to have to move a portal to get the water, and then we're going to have to move it again to... Okay, it's portal management, right? It's portal management, bouncing, and... Because you're continuous and you're not, probably intricate timing too. Yay! That That's never difficult for me. Uh, right. So, in that case... Yeah, uh, let's put the blue there then. So you're going to go... You should be chucking a blob of gel... Uh, blob of the white gel up that side, and that should just keep bobbing like that. Then I'd have to... I need to keep the orange there. So we'd have to... Put the blue... Blue up on that when we're sure it's clear the other side, right? So, like, now, then you'll activate this again. And then if I do blue there, that should now be bobbing, bobbing, blob, yeah, that's difficult to say. Bobbing a blue blob of gel the other side, right? That should just be continuously doing that. And I want it to splat there, so I can't go that way anymore because can't bounce that way. Um, oh, we can just turn it off by hitting this fizzler, right? And then we can actually see it to time it as well. So if we go right here, uh, blob of blue gel and now splat there. Cool. Right. You are now firmly bouncy. Well, not firmly. You are resistantly bouncy. Still nowhere near enough height to get anywhere up there, though. Is there any reason to go up there? It doesn't actually appear to be any reason to go up there, right? I don't see any sort of panels unless the floor is a panel. Uh, maybe we don't need to go that way yet then. So, up there. Well, we can come out of there really easy now, can't we? Because we can put the blue there and we could do the bounce upon you and do you and there. And should this floor be covered in the bouncy blue gel, in theory, we'd get launched up there. So that means we now have to work out a sequence over there again that gets us blue gel out of here. But I can't go back through you. So how do I get back here then to move it to there? Uh, we can put the portal back over onto you. That lets us go back and forth there again. So is it going to be like a, a double bounce timed with the blue gel? How do I get the blue gel to come out of you now? There's got to be... If I can get the blue gel powering itself again, maybe we can get back here? Because if we can get it powering itself again and get back here, surely we've just got to, at the correct timing, move a portal. Uh, let's go back through this way, then. Drop down into here. Uh, always going to need you, though, to start any sort of sequence of blue gel. Which means we're always going to have to do what we did a minute ago. But I need to go... F we need to leave a portal in there, right? So that the blue gel is self-powering 
and we're that side, which means I'd need to go through with it. And the only way to get in there is if you are bouncy. So let's make you bouncy again. That's that's probably quite important, right? Let's do um um Does it matter? Yeah, probably not. Let's do orange there then, get that going to do that, and then a blue there. And mess that up entirely. Okay, fine. Let's get that blob to come through and then do there. Splat. And then you should drop this here. Right, now you're bouncy, which means I can go back into... There, we can... Wait, hold on, hold on, stop. Control the bounce. We should be able to get back into here, right? That's close enough. It is. Can I get back out? Yes, because the portal's still there. Should think about these things first, really, shouldn't I? Um, okay. So I need a portal there again. Uh, to do a portal there again, we can technically just leave a portal there if we... Yeah, we're going to have to go across the little pink pit again. Go this way, land onto the little ledge, and stand upon the Minecraft ripoff, portal upon you, and portal on you again, right? We get into here, we don't need to bounce here. So... I've got to have the gel coming out of there... If I get the blue gel bobbing in that portal, I could go through as well. I'd have to go through, right? Because that's the only way, because everything else is fizzler block. Let me just check something probably quite obvious. Was there any angle back to the gels here? No, they are very clearly tucked away. So, no. Uh, let's go back there then with you and you. Got through here, control the bounce here. Yeah. Um, so I need blue on you to get you to start bouncing. Ah, but that's going to wash that away as soon as it hits here. So what if I was already in there? Yeah, if I'm already in here, that gets rid of the problem of that not being a way to get in here. Which makes sense, because they're all the same words in the same sentence. Um, so in that case, then, whilst you go... I don't want to move orange. We have to move the blue. We can only move the blue. So you go through to the orange side of the chamber, and we do you there, then you do there, and then there, right? And then that should put a blob bobbing here? Yes. Now, I attempt to go through without disturbing the blob. That's not going to be tricky at all, is it? Go through now. Now, 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 now. Get out of the way. That burst, isn't it? Yep, that burst on my ever so pointy skull. And has deactivated it entirely, because you only get one blue blob. Uh, we should be able to get it to go again, though, right? Since we're here. Uh, we don't need to worry about getting in here, because we're here. Again, that's the same sentence. Stop making those. Let's do blue on you again. Goes through to the orange side. Uh, then we move the blue there. And then the blue there. Right? Okay, cool. Probably quick save here might be a good idea. Then we need to get in here again without disturbing that blob. Is there a better way to do this? I can't see a better way other than trying to not burst the blob. And that makes the timing tricky. Uh, now's the best time. Go, go, go. Bounce out of the way. Get out of the way. Yes, okay. We have a successful blue blob transfer. Let's quick save with that as well. Um, so then I could probably get you to come out of the blue portal here. We should put a blob there, which should hopefully fling us upward in that kind of direction, closer to the inviting exit. Um, well, that's easy, right? Because now I could just... Actually, let's turn these... No, yes, 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 hold on. Stop interrupting yourself when you're trying to think of things that you're not thinking of yet. Put blue on there. Now, we should just be able to bounce here. Is that going to be enough, though? With that... Yeah, please? Okay, cool. That gets us clear up into another small pink pit. But this small pink pit comes with protection. So you can't get any of your sticky gels into this pink pit. Looks like, um... If I, maybe if I stop saying pink and pit and things like that, the the terrible, terrible attempts at humour will stop. We both know that's not true. 
Right, so yeah, that clearly means no gels in here. And we have another height obstacle. So in that case... Bigger fling? Maybe? Uh, there's another one of these up here, which is the other thing that turns off that fizzler. Ah, you can't see that top panel from here, though. Okay. Uh, we do have a ramped up area here to... I'm guessing what we were looking at before, where we've got a faith plate with technical issues. Technical issues because you've got another one of these. Well, crap. That's uh, awkward, right? Yeah, this is um, a portal management kind of chamber where you have to keep going back to the start at all times to uh, get your little button wet. That's the faith plate target we saw below. And that's where we were looking up from. So yeah, there's nothing there. But we can shoot back down into that particular panel, which must be a very important panel to be able to be accessed from here. So there's some horribly complicated sequence we've got to work out for. Water to come into this area out of you, to hit you, to turn on you, where we're already going to have to be standing, to launch us at you, which means we then actually have to have a panel already waiting there. A portal upon that panel, I mean. Which should then, theoretically, be enough, you know, momentum to fling us towards the exit again. So yeah, it's like reusing everything, but with awkward portal placements in between everything. But how do you... So you can't hit that front one, because these are very small buttons. No, we can't, we can't get there. Um, so what am I not seeing then? We got you. Could make you bouncy. Is there any point in making you bouncy? No, but... Might be a way to get... That's never going to be enough height, is it? Because there's no momentum here. That would never be enough, will it? If I actually, you know, manage to make that jump less embarrassingly, we can prove the fact that this won't work. No, because we don't even get anywhere near it. Fine, um, not that then. Let's go back up there. It does let us put the portal down on you as well. Is there any point in that? And get up into there. Get up into here with a fair bit of height. Any purpose for getting up into here with a fair amount of height? No, and it's disorientating, so let's stop. Um, no, it's getting gels into here and then doing some really awkward sequence of getting the gel into here and leaving portals in just the right places. Okay, fine. Um, how do we get back to somewhere we can actually get any form of gel from then? Because you don't let me have the angle. You do let me see those panels. Oh, maybe we can get back across then with the gel that's in there? Like the way we traversed it in the first place, could we traverse it back? We'd have to go through a fizzler for that, and we can't leave you off because no cube-based weight form technology is available. It does let us just, like, go in there, though. Is that blob enough height to get out of there? Um, let's just get back up that side. That is plenty to get up that height. Is it plenty to get up that height? If we actually use that little, uh, I'm going to say labia because it's too easy not to, type ledge at the edge of the pink pit and bounce that way. Does that work? Yeah, okay, cool. That is how you can leave a portal all the way up there and get one back here. That's probably worthy of a quick save. And now I'm dreading trying to work out and then pull off this sequence. So, technically we can do the, like, bobbing blobs thing again, right? Where they just sort of bob up and down in their portals. And we don't want to move the orange. So could we do everything that we had here again? Does it matter what gel I get up there?
probably. Although we only really need that patch there to bounce up towards the exit. So, whatever it is, I think I need this particular patch here to be bouncy again. Because I, I need to get into either pit where the gels are dropping. I'm hoping it's just the water that we could do it with. I mean, it is a water recepting button up there, right? So that, whatever it is, this has got to be bouncy again. So, well, we know roughly how to get back here. So, let's make this bouncy again. Um, That's on the floor, right? That's on the floor. So, blue. Uh, then you're going to do that, and you go through again, and then blue there. Turns that on, then blue there, and then... Didn't think that through, did I? No, let's do that sequence again and not worry about trying to keep up there. Uh, let's do the blue on you. Splat. Blue. Splat. You are now bouncy again, which I can use to get into Eva. And you're now self-propelling. Um... Not really propelling, is it? It's self-perpetuating. Uh, not important, though. So I'd need to go back over there and get back here again and not wash this off. Yeah, so traverse this little pink pit. Go in here, everything turns off. I gotta get back up there, which is... Easy one from here. Flings us up onto this ledge into the pit that will forever main dry. Well, technically, pass the protection, which makes that joke completely worthless and rather crass, so let's stop it. Um, leave a portal there. Yeah, leave a portal there. Then a portal there. Get back to the other side again. And then I suppose... We do the same thing with the water, right? But without bursting the water blob so that we can reposition it there. But then how do we have a portal on the angle? Is that why we can see down here? We get the water blob gel to keep uh, bobbing up and down out of this one, right? Since we can replace there. But we have to be up here. So since we can replace here, we, re we replace it from up here. Then we can reposition it to there. And then we'd have to do really awkward timing with changing the portals so that we can fling through there to come out of there. And because it's with a faith plate, it should give us a load more momentum and pray that we can hit that angled panel in time or maybe bounce, since there's a lot more height here. To then come out of the angled panel. Yeah, that's going to be a pain in the ass. So uh, let's quick save here and go attempt that horrible, horrible sounding thing that we have to try. Uh, let's get back into down into this one then. Bounce up onto the ledge. Bounce so that we can bounce back this way. Uh, we want to do the sequence that we did before, but with us... Does it matter which? Don't think it matters which. But you're always running, which makes me think you'll be easier to work with. So we go into here. We don't actually need you to do anything at the moment, do we? We could just put orange on that one and get through into here. We've made the ceiling bouncy. It is of no use. Uh, but you're going to keep doing that. And even if we burst you, we all get a new one, right? Because that's always running. So if you now had the blue when you're that side on there, this should activate this, yeah? Okay, cool. That does activate that. And it will keep doing it as long as that is there and we're there. Um, so can I leave a portal on that angled panel now? No, and if we do, we're going to wash away the very important patch of blue gel that we need to bounce on there. Which means it has to be you. Okay, so, um... Let's do... 
blue on you. Do, does it matter if I accidentally wash that? Let's quick save in case it does. Let's do blue there. Gel comes out of there. So you're going to keep doing that. So what's the sequence now then? It would be... It would be... It's going to... We've got to come out of there, haven't we? Yeah, which is why that's such a like tall area that we can faith plate into. Um, so we can't move the blue. We've got to move the orange. So when it's this side of the world, we put the orange on the ceiling and then immediately put the orange up there once the blob has come through. Because then that will launch us out of there and then we've got to try and aim for that angled panel. That sounds horribly tight timing. Can I get you to burst so I can have a fresh blob, please? Uh, let's not mess up the portals now. Blue. It's blue. Put the blue on you. So you're just going to burst. I want a new one because that gives us the maximum amount of, like, air time, hang time for the blobs. So, uh, blue. Orange. Yep, completely screwed that up, didn't I? Yes, because we still need it coming from the other side. Uh, there is no immediately accessible way to kill myself in this chamber, so let's use one of these transitions we haven't had for a while. Okay, we're back to here where everything is still in a acceptable place. It is, okay. Um, so let's put the blue then down there. So instead of what I just did, which was move orange, we actually need to move the blue, right? Yeah, just move the blue. Surely that would work. So, blue on you, then blue on you. But then that's going to launch me out there. So it has to be when the blob is up in the air here. Which is awkward because I can't see it. So blue there so we can get a new blob. And which one is it that I need to move? It's move, move the blob when it's the other side, not when it's this side. So blue blob comes through. We go here, and then it's probably now. Yeah? Yes! This chucks me into there. Because I completely screwed up which portal goes where again. Okay, I need to come back out of you. Okay, okay. That, but with better timing. And let's try and keep you blue as well, shall we? Um, blue on you. This is awkward to keep in my head. So that's going to keep doing that. When it's this side of the room, we move the orange and then we move the orange again. Which is awkward as hell. I can't tell when you're skyward here. Like, now. Yes, okay, cool. Uh, fuck. Shit, um, that, but with, like, spatial awareness for hitting that panel there. I could have moved anything, I suppose. We'd still have had the bounce. Okay, crap. Let's do that again, then. Right, okay. Uh, we had it. We had it working sort of well. We put the blue on you. Blue on you. When it's in the air here, we move the orange. Yeah? When it's in the air here, we move the orange. Ah, oh, God, that's so awkward to see in, like, time. Orange. Orange. All right, cool. Uh, then... Orange, orange, orange! Yeah, that. But that is such tight timing. Okay. 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 Blue on you. When you're in the air. This side. Orange. Orange, and then fuck me, orange. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool, awesome. That time we actually made it. That takes some really awkwardly tight timing at the very end there. Clever, like, uh, repeated reuse of the very awkward to obtain gels all the way to the end, though. That was quite a clever little chamber, yeah. Yeah. Like, not a lot going on, but way more complicated than you ever think it could be. It's not a simple flinging yourself into the pink. Intricate foreplay is required when you're entering this small pink chamber. 
That's enough of that. Okay, yeah, that was Shades of Pink made and recommended by Evil Lol. So a very big thank you to Evil Lol for that one. If you'd like to recommend a test chamber for me to try and complete and prove that children shouldn't be watching me, then please go ahead and recommend it via the usual means. Yeah, until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, I'd like to take this opportunity to point out something very interesting to you. I went through this entire chamber, the whole thing, mistakes and all, without making a reference to landing in the stink. Until right now. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later. Thank <laughs> you.